Hello, hi everybody. Good morning, good morning, how's it going? So, I saw this video pop up in my recommended by a guy called Connor's Curiosities. Connor does great content, does great deep dives. If you're into the same kind of thing that I make videos about, unsolved mysteries, icebergs, police interrogations, whatever, very high production content. So I saw this, I ranked every Windagoon video and I'm like, okay, I have to check this out. And the guy does Whoa. an hour, 48 minutes, full comprehensive breakdown of all my videos. Originally, the plan was to watch this and react to it on stream, but rather than just reacting to it, and you all don't go to his channel because I just do the full reaction and there's no reason to, uh, we put a tier list together based on how I feel about them, which is very different than how this guy feels about them, and probably very different from how a lot of you feel about it. So go check out this guy's video. All I had to do was search Windigoon tier list, and this popped up, so... If any one of you all also want to make your own tier list, fill it out and then tweet it at me or whatever, you can just search Tier Maker Windigoon and it'll pop up. So everything we're doing today is thanks to Connor's Curiosities, both the idea for the video as well as the physical tier list we're using is his own invention. So go show him some support and some love. He greatly deserves it. So let's get started. This is in chronological order starting at newest and going to latest, but I don't want to do it that way because I think, I like to think at least, that my best work is current, right? Is stuff that is uh, still coming out with and that I've gotten better over time. So I don't want it to be like the good videos first and the bad ones later on. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. These five videos, well, okay, now I have to think. Okay, first of all, when I started YouTube, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was like, I'm going to play video games and I'm going to talk about them. Uh, or maybe I'll talk about gun tubers. Maybe I'll talk about the gun tuber space. Or maybe I'll talk about movies. Like I was just guessing all over the place. And a lot of the stuff I did then, I really have no interest in it now. And also, like you all think my editing and stuff is basic now. I had an iPhone camera up until here, I think. I know I did the entire Iceberg series with an iPhone. This was the first video I did with an actual camera. I didn't know how the camera worked, so the quality looked awful. But I actually recorded this with a Sony. So all of these, like all these back, I did with an iPhone camera. These were all done with the audio of an iPhone. I literally just held an iPhone up and started talking to it. No microphone, no cares to the world. So... All these down here, immediate F tier. I just, I was goofing around. I was just like, oh, am I, do I want to make these kind of videos? I don't know. We'll see. So it's just me pointing an iPhone at myself, talking about gun tubers for a bit or watching movies with friends. None, none of what my videos became. None of what I've set out to do, right? This one though, while very low quality, I can, I still look back at that video with pride because it's one of the it's was one of the first times that I was like I'm really passionate about movies. I'm really passionate about storytelling. Maybe I could talk about one of those passions with a recent film that came out. Maybe that will garner some success. Uh, and while it's low production, low quality and I don't like that aspect of it, I still look back on it like, yeah, I'm I'm happy that I made that one how I did. So yeah, that one's going a bit higher at D tier. Also, my ranking for these isn't as much how good I think the video is, obviously that factors into it, but it's more so how important I think the video was to me where I'm going now. Because The God in the Details is the first video I made that kind of slid me towards where we're going now. So, all those down there. True Horror of Local 58 is the first ARG I ever made, right? It was still horrible production quality, horrible tone, but... Similar to God in the Details, it was a video that, uh, like, you can look at that one and be like, yeah, I see how that led to where he is now, for sure. And then, I can't remember where I went with this video. I'm gonna leave it at D, same as the others. It was inspirational to what I'm doing now, but it's a bad video, objectively, like, looking back. This video right here, the most popular early channel video, and it is immediate F tier. For those who haven't seen this video, it is just me reading the Reddit post. Again, when I was making videos early on, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know like what my direction was or anything. That video is just me reading 
It is just me reading a post for like two hours, not doing anything else. There's a point where I cough, like I stop to cough and I keep talking and I didn't edit it out. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's miserable. And I hate, I hate the, the idea of just me reading a post because that's the kind of content I don't like now, but. Yeah, anyway, yeah, easy F tier. I hate that it got as popular as it did because it's just me reading. It's just me reading someone else's work. Which is why for the first episode of Creepcast, we did we did our own thing with it. Okay, so Sunday studies. We're gonna go ahead. I'm not putting it in S tier, I'm just holding it here for now. We're gonna group all the Sunday studies as one. Okay, we're gonna do this whole thing at once. There's four of them. Should be. So let me let me give you all some thoughts about Sunday studies, okay? Samuel Saul, David Sin, Death of David, Aaron and Her, right? Okay. So as many of you know, I'm a Christian, right? Very open about that. Always been very open about that. Because of that, the Bible is the most important thing in the world to me, right? Like more important than, like, well, okay, yeah, religion, you know, God, Jesus, whatnot, is more important than anything in the world to me. More important than my life, more important than my job, more important than any anything else, right, is um, the Bible. I would say more important than my wife and marriage, but they go so hand in hand, right? Like, you know, part of religion is being the, the husband to your wife, what have you. My, the, my code of living, everything that is, everything that truly is me is Christianity, right? So because of that, I want to make videos that talk about that kind of thing. Oh, Absalom's folly. I forgot about Absalom's folly. That's right. Hold on. Let me get that one up there. Because these stories are so important to me, I want to make videos about them. I want to talk about them. That being said, the reason that I quit doing the Sunday studies two years ago is because I got convicted about how I talk about them. So, for example, I'll, I'll get a little real with y'all here. The greatest thing, or the only, really the only thing that matters as far as eternity goes or whatnot, the only thing that matters as far as eternity goes is salvation is the condition of one soul, right? So as a Christian, the ultimate goal I have above money, above finances, marriage, whatever, any desire is the ultimate goal I have is uh, to make sure others are in a, a, a position of salvation with their own soul, right? Um, the, the Great Commission, right? What Jesus called us to do. So I wanted to make some videos that talk about biblical stories and stuff like that. And there were a ton of people who were encouraged by it. I, I hear people every day say, oh, I was encouraged by um, what you talked about in Absalom's Folly or one of the Sunday studies. And that's good. That's excellent. I love to hear that. But there's two things here. One, a video about a Sunday school story is not going to get the message across to people who don't care about Sunday school stories, right? Like it's not putting the message out there to people who otherwise might come across it. And the thing that I've set myself up really very nicely for with this channel is that a lot of people come to the channel who are otherwise completely uninterested in Christianity. And they'll check out concepts that are tangential to Christianity just because I'm talking about it. So for one, Absalom's folly doesn't draw as many people to Christianity, basically, as much as Paradiso would or Paradise Lost would or something like that, right? So for one, it's not really getting that goal across. And if it does, this is the big thing. This is, this is the main reason that I quit doing Sunday studies. If it does, this is what they experience. They watch Wendigoon, right? They go through my channel. They watch this video, which is now age restricted. Thank Hello you, YouTube. Everybody. Today we are they watch this video. The oh, and look at this. I've got clips. I've got this is the diagram. diagrams on screen. I've got these long edited segments, background music, right? And then they go to the video right before that one about I have no mouth and I'm a screen and I'm using comic book illustrations. I'm talking about uh, the history of the author. I'm making interjections at the end of it. And they expect that kind of thing. And it's like, okay, I'll hear this guy out about his whole religion, his God thing. Hello, and it's just and welcome... me sitting down speaking welcome like in front, in front of a camera, right? Years, it, it, like, I, I'm glad some of you all like that. It means the world. I greatly appreciate it. But that is not the level of effort that I want to put into something that means that much to me. So while a lot of you all appreciate that, appreciate the series, that means the world, but I transitioned 
from doing ones like this to instead doing ones like Paradise Lost, where I'm talking about a story, a great epic that involves stories of God and religion and whatnot. And then from there, at the end of the video, I come in and I give like basically the salvation message of all this led to Jesus Christ, it led to Christianity and whatnot. Because for them, it's a better made video. It gives people what they want. It gets the message across more adequately to those who otherwise wouldn't be interested with it. And overall, I'm more happy with the presentation I put together. So Sunday Studies was incredibly important to me because it was the first step of me stepping out, talking about that online. But at the same time, I look back on it as I should have done more. I could have done more. So that's the reason I don't currently do Sunday studies because I try to make it into better topics. I'm planning a series right now that will hopefully do the same thing that like Paradise Lost did and Dante's Inferno did uh, regarding the Bible itself. So Sunday studies, the reason it's not there isn't because I don't want to make stories about God. It's that I want to make better stories about God. So yeah, so because of that, same as the others, it's going in D tier. That's my long-winded reasoning for that. Anyway, Black Parade. Okay. The Black... I'm not putting it in S tier. We're just holding it here. The Black Parade video is one that I'm so happy I told because it was me getting across a story in a way that I wanted to, and it meant a lot to me. But at the same time, I, I've thought about remaking this video so much because, it, like, the editing the way I got across my story, stuff like that, wasn't up to what my current standard is. So it's kind of a relic of the time. I don't think it's a good video now. But because it was me putting together my own story of something I hadn't heard a lot of people talk about, but at least not in the way that I had, I wanted to talk about it, I'm super glad I made it. So that's a C tier. Same reason these are down here, but I'm putting it up a bit. This video was pretty lame. It's just me talking about the Call of Duty story. It was pretty rushed to make, I remember. I do, like, when I was making these early channel videos, I turned them around quick. Like, I would make a video and immediately be like, okay, I've got, like, I could get this thing turned around in the next 12 hours. And I normally would. It's, it was one of those early rush ones. But when you're starting out on YouTube, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, the Last of Us is telling the wrong story. I stand by the points I made in this video as far as The Last of Us 2 story. I think it's ambitious, I think it's cool, but I think it was the wrong move for a sequel. I'm putting it a D tier. Not a great made video, but it was one of the ones that pushed me to where I am now as far as story analysis. Okay, a bunch of you probably don't even know this video exists. It's immediately S tier. The Kingsman Church, but with the Wii Sports Resort theme. This video, I actually remember I made this video the night I got monetized. Not on purpose. So I made a bunch of videos, I get monetized, and then I already had this one ready to go. I'm like, well, I'm posting it. It was literally just a meme. I, the, at, like you see views here now, like 2.8 million, 86,000. All of these were below a thousand at this point. Okay, I had like maybe 800 subscribers. I was just doing this channel for fun, so I made this. And it's just the whole scene, but with... It's literally just a meme. And I, I mean, what am I gonna do? Take it down? Take down history? Take down legacy? Of course not. I can't do that. <laughs> it's, but yeah, it, it, I mean, obviously it's F tier. It's just, it's just a joke. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> I see you all see it S tier. I can't take it down. Like that's too, that's too ridiculous too. Mr. Goon, if a hot Latina you work with grabs your hand and dances with you at work, is that a sign or is that just a part of her culture? If I did that, if she did that to me, I'd pepper spray her because I'm a married man. Uh, but that's obviously flirtatious, so go for it in your case. All right, no more. Not looking at chat. All right. Oh, boy. I proved the JFK conspiracy with a whiteboard. All right. The reason I actually made this video is because JFK got mentioned in the conspiracy theory iceberg. And I was like, oh, it'd be fun if I talk about that for a tangent. So I made this video. I actually, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to have fun. Uh, with chat. We're gonna, we're gonna play a game. Where do you think the JFK video goes? S tier by far. You all think this is an S tier video? Guess where I'm putting it. It's a C tier. It's definitely, it's easily a C tier. I want you 
to look at any of my current videos, the amount of research, the detail I do, stuff like that, and then look at what I do for JFK video. I've thought about remaking the JFK video so many times because I could do so much, so much better research now. I could make it so much more in depth. That's, it's 19 minutes of me mostly making jokes about the most surface level details of the conspiracy. I could go into people involved. I could go into conspiracies around it. I could go into trials that happened afterwards. It could be so much better. And I'm glad the video was successful because it kind of pushed me in the direction of making more conspiracy theory, theory content, right? And I'm glad people enjoy it. It also encouraged me to be more myself, to be more casual in videos. Glad all that happened. But it's it's a C-tier video. It's it's really not that good. The jokes do not make it S+. plus. You all are insane. If you think any of my early videos are a even A-tier... I, I just think you're wrong. I think you're wrong. Rocco's Basilisk. Rocco's Basilisk. Uh, this video, I bet a lot of you haven't seen. Sim, a lot of my early videos, I thought what my whole channel is going to be is I was going to cover the conspiracy theory iceberg. And then I was just going to make videos about things in the conspiracy theory iceberg. Obviously, I've moved away from that now, but that was what I thought my channel was going to be when I started gaining success with it. So this is another one of those. I'll leave it at C tier because... I like what the video was. It's also funny back then. I was using like full square PNGs on it. Man, that's sad. I thought it was fun, you know, but I mean, it's it's just not up to, it's not up to the quality of what a normal one would be. I also nowadays don't think I'd make a full video about Roko's Basilisk without talking about modern iterations of it with things like AI. It's so easy to take this video and then talk about, you know, modern horrors that exist. And I just didn't do that. I just talked about the theory. So now that I say that out loud, I think it's D tier actually, because it's just me describing the theory for 13 minutes. I'm glad some of you all like that video so much, but not for me. <laughs> this video, this video, Chris is with the cranks is, I don't know if you all know about this one. You probably don't. So Christmas, Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> Yeah, Christmas with the Cranks is a communist satanic propaganda film that proliferates ideas. Okay, so this video is actually funny because when I started, I didn't have any followers. No one knew who I was. I just got monetized. So I make this video and d there were like some accounts, like d political accounts on Twitter that were posting this video and like... Ugh, Look at how far the right has gone. Look at how pathetic the right has gone. Because they thought it was serious. They thought this was serious. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's that Where's that line that everyone quotes? I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way because it's important uh, for the entire overarching theory of this. But essentially, Frosty is Baphomet the Blood God. I mean, look at... <laughs> It was, it was just a meme. The reason I made this video is because my mom watches this movie every year at Christmas. Every year since I was like 10 years old. And I was I was up to my neck with it. I, I'm like, I hate this movie. I think it's dumb. And uh, my mom was like, no, it's a, fam it's a movie about families coming together and being happy during the holiday season. And I'm like, you could make a surface level theory like that about anything. You could say any movies about anything. I could say that this movie is a satanic propaganda flick. And she goes, no, you couldn't. And then this video happened. <laughs> the, the reason this video exists is to meme on my mom. So for the past three Christmases, every Christmas, I will send her this video to be like, remember that video you like is about the devil. I want you to keep that in mind. It's See, literally just a way for me to bully my mom. Return. And, and it ends on, uh, do you all know how this video ends? <laughs> Hold on. For example, the shot at the end of the movie of Santa's carriage flying over the city with skyscrapers visible in the background is a very blatant reference to 9-11. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas. I ended on a 9-11 joke. I ended on a 9-11 joke. And there were people on Twitter like, the right is poisoning our youth. They're killing our minds. Like, uh, so, yeah. Um, that being said, that being said, if we're being objective, if we're being objective here, it is, it's an F tier video. It's a joke. It's just a joke video. It's not well made. It's not high production. It's just, it's literally a meme for my mom. I love it for that reason, 
but and I love it because people took it seriously. There's a bunch of comments on that video now that are like, "This is ridiculous. This you think you think this video is about that? You don't know what do you even think communism is?" <laughs> like, there's people heated about it in the comments of that video to this day. So I love it for that. But it's I mean, it's a joke. It's not it's not a good video. The Nashville Christmas Attack Theory, also F tier. This video is six minutes long. I think it's, well, not counting the Kingsman church fight. I think it's the shortest video on my entire channel. Did y'all remember that bombing that happened in Nashville like three years ago, I think? I made this video like the day or two after that happened. And it's literally just going into the theory about why he did that, why he might've done that. Cause it was a guy who drove up on a curb and then he, alerted the police for two hours he like had a siren playing that a bomb was about to go off and he sat in his car and listened to music and smoked cigarettes until he died until the the van he was in exploded so it's just a video of me explaining he might have done that because uh the nsa is known to use buildings like that as listening posts so maybe he was anti he actually had a history of working at that building maybe he was anti-government decided he wanted to hurt the nsa he was diagnosed with a terminal illness if i remember right so he's like well rather than suffering in a hospital bed i want to kick the boot right before i go so it, it was literally just six minutes of me explaining that. Not really a lot of research or anything like that. It was just, uh, yeah, F tier. Okay, Star Wars Iceberg Explained. Um, this was not my first Iceberg video because as we mentioned, the conspiracy series was going on at this time, but it was my first standalone Iceberg video. Uh, that being said, like I, I like that I did it because it was a standalone iceberg video and that pushed me to make more of them but it really wasn't that well made it's just me looking up star wars facts and then talking about them. so c tier i mean d tier d tier inspirational but not much else um and, okay i don't know if y'all knew this every single video i make cannot be s tier you cannot say that to everything i pull up thank you chemical because everything i pull up y'all are like oh it's so great it's so good blah 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 no i'll give you this though the scp iceberg is c tier over the iceberg because whereas this one's just like pop culture facts the scp iceberg was more investment into the actual concept where people who weren't familiar with it did learn something whereas the star wars iceberg was the equivalent of like a, a buzzfeed article right so i do like the scp iceberg more so i like more so diving into like what creators and storytellers have done online and i also got the opportunity to talk about why i enjoy some of those stories over others so i think it's better every scp01 proposal explained while i would put it at c tier because the the scp icebergs at c tier it's not as dynamic as that one because again my channel at this point has i think maybe ten thousand subs i can't remember a very a, a small amount compared to where i'm at now and i was like oh this video does well time to immediately rush into the same topic again so it wasn't it wasn't that thought provoking i didn't do that much with it i just read off a bunch of stories so i got to be fair, I gotta put it down D tier. What were the original five videos you wanted to make? Also, any update from Waffle House? Oh yeah, that whole thing. No, no update from Waffle House. I had said early on in the channel that there were five videos I wanted to make when I started. Uh, the Black Parade video and the No Country for Old Men video being two of them. Uh, but honestly, my channel just moved in a direction. Like, because when I started off, remember, I was like, I want to make videos about movies and guns, right? And I cover movies somewhat and guns may pop up, but I don't make videos about them altogether per se. I think the other three I wanted to make was I wanted to make a video about Scorsese. I want to make a video about Tarantino and I forget what the third is. And those videos just aren't like my kind of content now. So, but yeah, it's, it's just stuff that my channel's not geared towards now. My desires have shifted as time have gone on, but I did make two of them, the, the Black Parade video and the No Country for Old Men video. The Childhood, tra childhood Trauma Explained. The Childhood Trauma Explained was just me describing stuff that scared me as a child. It was a big trend at the time to talk about scary videos, like videos that scared you as a kid. No, no like research, no in depth. It was, it was just me talking. I'm gonna give it D tier because I like that it encouraged me to be more personable and myself in videos but it, it's not that well made. Okay, now we're getting close to stuff that I would consider good content as far as I'm concerned. This is a video most of you probably haven't seen, the game that could destroy the world, which for one, I thought, I remember when I made that video, I'm like, this title, this thumbnail, this one's gonna bang, it's gonna pop off, and it did not. 
but I was very proud of it at the time. But it was a whiteboard video talking about like AI and roles, which is surprisingly relevant to the modern day. I thought this video was gonna pop off and it didn't, but this is one of the first videos where it was me taking an idea, a thing that, a lesser known thing that happened, a game that was played online, and then turning it into an extrapolation of what this could mean for AI, what this could mean for the future, whatnot. It was really the bones of me doing my own theory crafting, not just regurgitating information that's previously out there. And while the video leaves a lot to be desired technically, it is, again, kind of the groundwork for a lot of the stuff I did later. I'm gonna put it as our first B tier. That video didn't mean a lot to watchers. It didn't perform that well per se, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. The 100K q and it's just me replying to comments. There's, there's nothing more. Oh, fun fact about that 100K q and though. That is the first video on the channel that I did not edit. Every video before that, I edited myself. This is the first video that I sent to my editor, Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin is someone I went to high school with. We've been friends for years. When I hit 100,000, this is another thing. Uh, a lot of y'all probably don't know this. I didn't tell anyone in my life that I was making YouTube videos. I told my, at the time, girlfriend, Kayla, after I had made like five or six. So I post some videos. They get maybe a couple thousand views. And I kind of mentioned like, oh, I've been making videos for fun, you know, just to see. I think we, I went to go get food and I was using, I was a college student at the time. I didn't have a job. Well, no, I did have a job. So I said, I forget what it was. Somehow it came up that I had money to spend. And I was like, oh, I've been making money on the side. And they're like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I may, I'm making YouTube videos. And they're like, what? <laughs> and I had like 20,000 subs when I told them. And my sisters were like, you just weren't going to mention this? Because I never tell someone, I still don't do this to this day. I never tell someone I have stuff going on unless it's moderately successful. Because I, I can't stand people who are like, oh, well, I'm planning to do this. I'm starting to do this. I'm thinking about doing this. It's like, okay, just do it and then come back to me later. So I was afraid to tell anyone that I was making YouTube. But I remember when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I was like, okay, it's not just like a thing that is completely inconsequential at this point. So I'll let someone else know about it. So Caitlin, who was a friend of mine in high school, who we stayed friends through college, was the first person, I, if I can recall, outside of my immediate family and girlfriend, who I texted and was like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. Could you edit for it? And she's like, sure. And she checked out the channel and she goes, okay, when you when you said you had a channel, I was assuming like maybe 100 subscribers, not 100,000. So yeah, the first video she ever edited for me was this one. So that's a fun fact. Uh, but, other, but I mean, it's just me talking about questions and comments, F tier. I have movie stuff going on right now, stuff planned for the future. I'm not going to tell you about it until it exists because I hate the idea of, of like being like, oh, I'm going to do this thing and then it doesn't happen, right? The most disturbing movie iceberg, which at this time has 11 million views. To be honest, the disturbing movie iceberg is a, it might be a C tier video, but because of its success, I'm gonna call it B tier for me. Cause this, this is the video that blew up my channel. This video hit a million views in a week. None of my other videos were even close to that. This is the one that caused me to be in the position I am now. But I'm gonna give it B tier because this video could have been done so, so much better. It is a lot of me describing stuff that I can't show or I can't talk about, but it's me describing it in really vague ways. I could have I could have done a better job at that. I could have gone into more detail about the production of it, why it was made, what its impact was. I was so bad at describing it. A bunch of people accused me of not watching the videos or watching it. And I did at least watch clips from everything on the iceberg, but I don't blame them for thinking I didn't, <laughs> given how bad I was at describing it. It's mostly me being like, yeah, this one's real bloody, people die. That's weird. Anyway, and moving on to the next one. And it, it was a lot of me just kind of implying stuff rather than talking about why it was interesting, why it was cool. There's ways to do a disturbing movie iceberg. And I think I did that a lot better in the disturbing video game iceberg, where I talk about the controversies around it, what led to it, what caused it, stuff like that. This is the one video that propelled me more than anything else has. Still to this day, as far as ratios go, of like how big you were to how big you got, nothing has impacted my channel as much as that video. So I'm appreciative for it, I'm glad you all like it, but I can do better, so B tier.
the Lost Tapes video. Just me watching Lost Tapes and reacting to it. Uh, the audio quality was awful, I remember. I'm not going to put it at F tier because I'm glad it got more people talking about Lost Tapes in the current age. That's a good, that's a good point, Eddie. S tier for impact, personally. C tier for quality. Maybe even D tier for quality. So we'll call it B. But yeah, the, the, the Lost Tapes video isn't F tier because I'm glad I got to talk about something that was lesser rem less remembered at the time. And technically it's one of my earliest iterations of me talking about cryptids. So I'll give it D, but it's really F as far as quality goes, if I'm being honest. The religion and cult iceberg explained. If I'm being honest, I have very fond memories of this video. This iceberg does of me. Uh, maybe the solution isn't to kill all of them. <laughs> I didn't know I talked about the Branch Davidians. Oh my gosh, that's foreshadowing. I didn't even know I talked about that in that video. Jonestown. And Jonestown. Oh my gosh. How many topics do I minutes. eventually or plan to cover that I talked about? So yeah, I'm going to do... And he'll... Bro, bro, that's three different ones from this one video. Heaven's Gate, Marcus was... Yeah, so it's me talking about different religions where they go. I had people from a lot of these obscure religions dm me or email me and be like you got you got most of it right this is a bit of a correction though but good job for the most part which is crazy and i felt i remember like this encouraged me to talk more about religion cults experiments stuff like that this is honestly probably one of my best iceberg videos even today i'm really happy with how it turned out it's a solid b for sure if I'm being honest, this also, because there's a bunch of YouTubers who they make one really cool video and you never hear from them again. It's definitely B tier, I think, as far as quality. But honestly, to me, this video was more important than the than this one, right? Because I made an iceberg video that did well. I made another iceberg video and it did really well. And that was kind of the trip for me of like, okay, if I don't quit now, I may, I may have a shot at this YouTube thing because it did successful off the back of the first one. I also remember this is the first video I told my in-laws, now my in-laws at the time, my girlfriend's family. I was going to her house and I met them. And I, I remember right before I posted that, I'm like, oh, I started a YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, that's cool. Good for you. Uh, so like I, I, I connect all these videos to like personal memories I have regarding them. Because yeah, I was able to recapture success, I have to put it a day tier. Yeah, for sure. The Ant Hill Kids Cult. Okay, so quality-wise, I think it stands in a similar place as this. I don't think it was as, it was a bit more in depth. So the most important thing about the Ant Hill Kids cult to me actually has nothing to do with the video. So I make this video, who it's about a cult there? leader who brutally like killed some people, tortured a lot of others in the cult he led. Unimagined. I'm describing the woman who got away from the police who managed to tell the cops. But somewhere near the end of this video, I say a line about her where it's to the effect of, even though I know she'll never get over what happened to her. Or I say something like, I don't know how she could ever get over what happened to her. Something like that. I wasn't even trying to be offensive or crude. I'm just like, this story is so brutal. I don't know how she could have gotten over it. And I got an email after I made that video from someone who I, I think I've seen them around the internet before since then. So I'm pretty sure it was legitimate who was the daughter of the woman mentioned in the story. And she emailed me and she was like, you got the details right. You got the story right, blah, blah, blah. But I just want you to know that after everything that happened at the cult, my mom met my dad. They lived a long and happy life together. They had three kids, including me, and she lived the rest of her life with a very loving family. So yeah, she got over it. And that was a huge, huge check for me about how I cover cases like true crime cases moving forward. Because... Yes, it was a horrible story that happened to this girl. And probably the thing that she was known for more than anything else in her life. But there was a life after that. She was a mother. She was a wife. She was a caretaker. She was so much more than just the victim of a cult. Just that. So when I talk about stories and I say things like they never could have gotten over it or oh, they were broken by this forever... I have to be careful about how I speak about these people because to a lot of people, the 4.9 million who watched this video, my word, the way I talk about these people is the way they're going to be remembered forever. And I need to keep that in mind.
So this video was a huge like vibe check for me, how I work moving forward. It's why in videos moving forward regarding real people, I try to be more respectful. Um, it was very important. It, that part of it was more important for me than anything else that came out of that video. So I think I'll leave it at a B tier. I think it's a B tier video. Okay, this video right here, I remember when I made this video is the first thought I ever had to myself about maybe I could do YouTube full time. Cause it was at that point in my uploading of YouTube, I'm like, I may be making enough money eventually that I could do this instead of a job. So I remember post, I didn't tell anyone yet, but I remember posting this video and having the thought to myself, I might be able to do this full time. So that video is important to me for that reason. Uh, doesn't really relate to the content at all. I like this video. I thought it was, I, I like the idea of taking like the scene from history and talking about how hilarious and ridiculous it was. That being said, I could have done more with the visuals besides just a whiteboard, but I think it's a solid C tier. I like it. I'm still happy with where it's at for what it is at least. The unsolved true crime iceberg. I personally think this is my best iceberg. I don't know if I'd call it S tier though. I don't know. I'm conflicted now. Okay, we'll do this. It's an A tier. If there's less than five things at S tier by the time we're done, I'll put it in S. So, the story of the 38 minute war, uh, exact same to me as the Archduke video. Funny, I like I was able to talk about it, could have done more visual wise or whatever, but I, I had a good time making it and I'm glad for what it is. This is an F tier, this is, this is literally, I have no idea why I posted it, it was just leftover gameplay from the second video I ever made on the channel, so... I don't know. Same with this. It's just me goofing off playing games because I thought I could incorporate that, but no. The Bible Theory Iceberg Explained. This will be our first S tier. The Bible Theory Iceberg Explained because this is kind of like the synopsis of my whole channel, like weird biblical lore mixed in with like r real stuff, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm very happy with how that video turned out. It gave me ex excuse to talk about angels. It was a big stepping point in learning. I could, it didn't just have to be Sunday studies. I could incorporate Christianity or whatnot into other more interesting aspects I was already doing. And I go back and look at that video even today. And I'm like, that, I, that turned out great. I love how that turned out. So yeah, I've got to give that one S tier. Also, the Bible theory iceberg was the first incarnation. Uh, well, I mentioned giants in the conspiracy theory iceberg, but the Bible theory iceberg was the first time I explained the Nephilim and stuff like that. So giants technically comes from that video. So yeah, it has to be S tier. This video, oh boy. Okay, so this video actually led to some controversy. A lot of you may not, I'm just putting an S tier to hold it. The director sent us the most disturbing movie of all time. This was a follow up to this video about disturbing movies. A guy claimed to be the director of Thomas Cinemagore is the alias and to be sending me and Mr. Gigi his new most disturbing film ever made. And then when you watch it, it's just like a meme compilation and it has a few other known disturbing movies in it, like the Serbian film. It was just, it was just a joke. So I make a video explaining the whole thing and explaining who is impersonating Thomas Cinemagore. And then I talk to Plagued Moth about it because he was involved. It was someone from his Discord server who sent it to me. Then there was this whole controversy around maybe that person was like planning to release it with, I can't remember all the details, but I remember it caused drama that it was like a clout chaser. And then people said I platformed him when really I didn't know there was a whole like lore behind it. So yeah, it, it was like, it was this whole stink and I haven't made videos like that since just cause it, it's really, it's really intellectually empty. Like there's no research or nothing to it. It's just like, oh, a guy sent me a video, let's watch it. So yeah, whatever, it's an F tier video, but it was my first collaboration with Mr. GG, which is, is, has a place in my heart, but it's, it's not a well-made video on my end. Serial killer iceberg. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do all parts of it. A bunch of people like it, which is why I'm considering doing it again, uh, or like making a super cut of it for December, but they're all B tier to me. All the parts of the serial killer iceberg are B tier. I like that I'm able to dive in and talk about all those disturbing cases and whatnot. Not, not, not disturbing cases. I talk about the killers because I want to not associate the victim's name with them like in the way I did previously. I talked about that with the Ant Hill kids analysis thing. I do like diving that deep into aspects of it that's normally not covered, but yeah, it's, it's like a B tier. Gemini Home Entertainment. My second ARG coverage and one that definitely... Like it was local 58, only I did it much better. By my modern standings, I still could have done it better. But yeah, this caused a lot of, this definitely pointed me in the direction I'm heading now. So yeah, it's B tier. 
What about the pink guy cult vid? I actually took that video down because I thought it was so dumb. Uh, <laughs> so I would have put it at F tier if it was still up. There's a video on my channel for those that don't know where I talked about this cult called the Cult of the Pink Eye, which was just a cult that's supposed to give you the day that you die. Turned out to just be this internet program where they manipulated the YouTube, like the editor system to get what they wanted out of it. And it really, it really wasn't that interesting once the story of it came out. And the video was so rushed because it was the hot, you know, new thing. Uh, I just thought it wasn't well made. So I, I took that video down. The Cannibal Killing of Michael Rockefeller. I'm going to call that one an A tier. I'm still happy with how that went. It's a lesser known historical story that involves the killing of a famous person, but similar to this video, similar to the Archduke Ferdinand video in a way not a lot of people know about, but talking about the more interesting aspects of it. So yeah, I'll call that A tier. I like that. I like that video. And I like how it turned out. And it, that video actually did so well off the jump that it got a lot of people talking about Michael Rockefeller who had never heard of the case. So it was cool to see the video float around online after that. So yeah, I'd call it A. This video, F tier. If a video is just me describing stuff or like talking about it with no research, nothing else, or it's all just personal, that's an F tier for me. It's just filler. I'm not saying I'll never make another one of those videos again, but I just personally don't like them as much. This is just me describing the hair psychopathy. Oh, funny enough, you mentioned it. Here is the Mystery Flesh Pit video. Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. It's at least C tier. Yeah, it's a video of me talking about the lore I, now the content like the thing i'm talking about is s tier the flesh pit is so cool it's so so cool and i'm glad i could introduce people to it i could have organized it better than just like scrolling through the website jumping around to different topics i'm glad it put so many more eyes on mystery flesh pit national park but i i think i could have done a better job at analyzing it. i think i'm gonna give it b tier we're giving it b here you know what i'll put it early in b I'm not, I'm not keeping track, by the way, of early or late, but you can call it a B plus if you want. The story about Garbo the spy, the spy who hilariously won World War II. I kind of want to give it an A tier. For me, these are the videos that I love doing so much. Taking a historical case, talking about the theories, the extra stuff around it, seeing where it went. And I love, ta I love the story of Garbo the spy. It's so funny, not a lot of people know about it. And because of this video, a lot of people did learn about it. I, as much as I love stuff like... Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Actually, hold on. Let me put it. It's still B plus. Let me put it down here so we can keep the cro chronology that we we have going on. I love Mystery Flesh Pit National Park, but to me, it's almost more important. Well, well, I want I want the artist like Trevor. Um, it's one of the Trevors. I'm, I'm losing his name right now, but I want the artist to get credit for what they're doing. I also think that history is more important because it's too easy to forget. So I, I love being able to get across stories that not a lot of people know about. So yeah, I'd call that A tier. I'm glad you all are kind, but I am my own worst critic. I have to be because if I'm not, then uh, everything falls apart. So I have to keep myself accountable. Roberts, yes, Trevor Roberts. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad Trevor Roberts got attention, but history, if we don't tell history, we lose it. So I'm glad we're not able to tell it. Every political ideology explained. Okay, this video, I'm not putting it S tier again, holding it. This video. Everyone, everyone <laughs> jumped me for this video online because they're like, oh, clearly that's not how this party works because it blah, 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 blah. Uh, and there was a book written in the 50s that said, like, look, I'm not a political guy. I don't like politics. I frankly kind of hate them. I don't read political theory. I, if something is, if something's inherently political as far as like modern or like inconsequential politics go, I hate it. Uh, obviously any work that relates to government war or whatever is going to be political, but I, I only like, that's different than like immediate politics, whatever. I, I try to avoid them. The purpose of this video was, it was a breakdown for people who just aren't familiar. A lot of people who don't stay on the internet are, they think Democrat Republican is the only, is as big as the political spectrum gets. So the purpose of this video was just to be like, hey, there's a lot more stuff. Like here's where communism would lie. This is how uh, libertarianism, libertarianism remotely relates to this. And a bunch of people who understood that, or like, sorry, not, that makes me sound better than someone else. A bunch of people who acknowledged that and were politically minded were like, yeah, this is a good entry to a lot of the concepts mission, which is all that I wanted it to be. So I'm happy with how the video turns out, but that being said, it's just kind of a, a surface level glance over a lot of different ideas, kind of like an iceberg in that sense, only not as intricate. 
So yeah, I'm going I'm going to call it B tier. I'm still happy with how that video turned out. Uh, I did get jumped for it pretty hard by people who were like, "This guy thinks he knows how second duelist Vlad Vladimirism works or whatever." It's like I I really don't care. Walking Dead Iceberg explained. I'm also if I'm glad people like the Walking Dead video. I lost it. Okay, I'm glad people like the Walking Dead video. But to me, it's just pop culture. To me, it's just like, I like this thing, so I want to talk about it. And I don't even like The Walking Dead now. I like what it was, but I don't like the current show. So I'm putting it at C tier. The video's better made than the Star Wars iceberg, so it goes up one. But it's still the same. Conceptually, it's the same thing to me. Like, it's it's the it's popcorn content just like easy passive so i'll give it c because i do like how it turned out production wise but i, I don't think it's a well-made video I, I don't i'm sorry i think it's well made i don't think the content is all that interesting okay so i would give this video f tier because it's just me reacting to everywhere at the end of time but i do think my reaction was able to highlight some of the points with it that were interesting and it brought attention to something that I think needed to have attention brought to it, the Caretaker's album. So I, I didn't do anything regarding it. The content is more interesting than most of my F tier stuff. So I'll bump it up one to D tier. Something else that I'm very happy with these videos is like in Connor's video going over it, most of the time he wasn't even describing what I was doing in the video. He was describing the thing I was talking about. And that was so encouraging because that's what I want people to remember from these videos. I don't want them to take away what I did or how I made my content. I want them to take away the stories I talk about. So to hear someone describing my video and the, the first thing that comes to mind is the stories within the video, that's very cool to see. So videos where I do that with things like this, those mean a lot to me. Nine types of biblical angels. Hmm. I would put it at A because I like talking about the angelology. I thought it was interesting and all that. That being said, I could have done more with visual elements. I could have done more with like talking about how other religions incorporate them. I dropped the ball a little bit, but I'm still pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to call it B. I'm glad it introduced a lot of people to those concepts of angelology, but it could have been more. The Akali Raft video. To me, this video is the best video out of this the whole like these three right here taking a lesser known historical event talking about what makes it so weird or wacky i think i did the best there with the akali raft like almost no one knew about that story at least on youtube not a lot of people knew about that story until i talked about it and now people make jokes about it and memes about it which is very funny i'm gonna be honest for me it's an s tier video like the the way the production of it turned out the way people talked about it after it had happened. One of my proudest videos, I would honestly say. Yeah, I'd have to give that one an S tier. Let's do all of the Divine Comedy as one. Let's go ahead and get all those out of the way. Part of me wants to put it as S tier because I'm so happy with how I was able to talk about a book that pretty much no one in the modern age talks about that much. And like I was able to get that across to a new audience, new people got interested in it. I love it so much for that reason. But that being said, I could have been more concise at parts. I could have been more descriptive in parts. I'm very happy with how the Inferno part turned out. More so with like the Purgatorio part. I'll put it at A tier. I'll put it at A tier. This is also one, there's a few videos that people will send me um, screenshots or like pictures of are used in college lectures. Like I had someone send me like from this big lecture hall, there's like a hundred people in the room, like this auditorium seating. And they, and the professor was showing my Dante's Inferno video because they were doing a series about uh, the divine comedy. So like, that's so cool to see. I'm glad people like the videos that much, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I have to, A tier. I want to put it at S, but I could have done better in some parts. I don't think it's quite an S tier video, so I'll give it an A. All right, the first Mandela catalog video. This video was insanely important to me when it came out. I remember where I was when I uploaded it, all that. I remember talking to Alex. I'm glad that the series took, the series took off before I made the video on it, but like we, we grew, we've grown in tandem, him and I together, which has been very cool to see, especially because he's a friend of mine now. I don't place the ARG videos personally as high as I place like the history videos, the analysis, stuff like that. 
to me, the history, the storytelling, the true crime stuff is more important. It's a good ARG coverage, but it's still an ARG coverage to me. So I think it's going at B tier. Yeah, I think it's going to B tier. The, the Mandela catalog is S tier, but my coverage of it, I think, is a B tier. This one, I, I, I don't like this video. Uh, I think I have to put it at C tier. I like the concept. I think I could have done more with it because I gave a very brief look over cases. I could have talked more about like the accusations from reporters. I could have talked more about conspiracy, but instead I kind of just focus on, this is what the Amityville haunting was. This is what the conjuring was. And I don't go into that much detail about the Warrens when I could have. I could have done a lot more for that. Do I want to put it at D tier? No, because D tier is mostly stuff that was inspirational, but not good at all. I think there's some merit to the Amity, to that video, because I do like give introductions to like a, a lot of the hauntings you'll see in the Conjuring films and stuff like that. So I think it has some value, but not that much. Put it C tier. The most terrifying ocean mysteries. That's also C tier. Similar to this one. It's me describing a series of stories, not that much research, kind of just like, oh, here's some weird things that happened. And I'm glad people liked it. I'm glad people liked my rant at the end, just talking about why the ocean was scary. But again, it's not, it's, it ain't that deep. Like the video, the ocean's deep, but my video on it ain't that deep. It, here's how I gauge it. I wouldn't make that video now. I would make, if I were to cover that topic, I would change it up. I'd make a lot of things different, but I would not make that video now. I have no mouth and I must scream. Um, or a hopeful hell is what I think I titled it. I like this one. I talked about a story that was popular, but not a lot of people knew the concepts of it. Or the specifics of it, I mean. I talk about my theory with what the book means at the end. I talk some about the author. Really, like, thinking back on it, it's a lot. it hits a lot of the points I try to hit in the modern day for videos. I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it's an A tier. I don't think I could give it S just because it is just me explaining a story like, here's a book. I'm going to read portions for it. We're going to talk about it. You know, like it's not, it ain't that deep, but for what it is, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, I, I, I think putting it on the same tier with the Divine Comedy videos makes sense. I think that tracks. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it an A tier. All right. The Monsters Beneath Us, The Monument Mythos. This video is... A conundrum because it's the most watched video on my channel and I don't really like it because I I took way too long. I know people like the length, but I took way too long to explain stuff that could have been much shorter. Uh, I like the I like the monument mythos. I just think I could have done a better job covering it. Doesn't have to be that long. I know a lot of you like it, but it leaves to be desired for me. I would put it at C tier for content and how it turned out, but because of popularity, I'll leave it up here with the Mandela catalog, even though I think the Mandela catalog video is better. Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave it at B. It's not that, it's not that good, fam. Uh, the Chris McCandless. Story I love, story I got to talk about. I'm putting it at A tier to me. It fits in with like the Michael Rockefeller video and the, this video, like, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd call that an A tier. Conspiracy tier list, F tier. It's just me reacting to stuff, not not research. It's just me reacting to stuff I already covered. Disturbing donations. Uh, that's a D tier video. It's a reaction. So normally it'd be like F tier, but it was with my friend, Mr. Gigi. We got to banter off each other and talk. I'll go ahead and put the other one there as well. Both of these are D tier. Uh, I like them. They're a lot of fun to make. I'd be down to do it in the future, but I mean, it's just, it's just me reacting to stuff. It's not that deep. I like spending time with Gigi though. He's a good friend of mine. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's, I'd call those G-tier. All right, the MLK assassination video. The MLK assassination video is everything that I wanted the JFK video to be. It was better researched. I had, I had read through court reports. I had clips from documentaries and court trials. I had clips from the killer, the killer, right? The, the MLK video is what I want my JFK video to be and what I want a remake of it to be. That my only gripe I have with the MLK video is I didn't know how the camera's lighting system worked at the time. So it, it the camera will keep auto adjusting brightness and it looks kind of off putting if you look at the corners. But that's how nitpicky I am because I love everything about this video. For me, it's an S tier. This is what I want my conspiracy videos to be like. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So yeah, that's an S tier for me. 
Mass Hysteria Iceberg. Uh, B tier. It's a... Uh, I think I did good research, but it's just an iceberg surface level look at stuff. Yeah, I'd give it B tier. The Voyage of Terror. A tier. All these videos that are me talking about lesser known historical stuff, going into the theories, what could have happened, what might have happened. I love those videos so much. And all of these so far, I feel like I did an adequate job. Like I look back at them like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. So for me, The Voyage of Terror is A tier. I love the Franklin Expedition. It's such a heartbreaking story to me. So yeah. This one, the video about Munchausen by proxy. I like taking this lesser known disease or like this weird controversial disease, talking about the stories around it, giving cases. I like that. Rewatching it, I think I was a bit too scatterbrained. Like I go a bit too far down one tangent and then try to tie it into something else, but doesn't really work. Honestly, if I would have scripted that video, it would be an A tier. But because of like how all over the place was, I think I have to call it a B, so. USS Indianapolis. Okay, I would put the USS Indianapolis at A tier because it matches up with like, you know, the, the Garbo the Spy video, the Rockefeller video is like a lesser known historical story. But there were no, there was no like theory to it. There was no avant-garde stuff. It was just like, here's the thing that happened. Here's how it went. And I'm glad it brought more attention to the story, but it really was just me relaying the story without a ton of research. Like pretty much... What you, I got out of that video, you could probably get out of a journal article regarding the story. So, yeah, I have to put it B tier. It, it didn't do that much special, whereas I think some of these videos did. So, yeah, B tier. Siberia's Tragic Terror, A tier, yeah. To me, this is the same as, like, these other theory videos, like the Rockefeller video. Taking a weird historical story and talking about what might have happened. So, I like it. The Five Nights at Freddy's video. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's is so ridiculous, uh, and it's my opinion on the timeline. I'll put it at C tier, because it's just, it's, again, it's just pop culture stuff. It's not that in-depth or anything that crazy. It's just my take on it. I still agree with my take on it, even if it's got retconned eight times since, but that doesn't count because the series is all over the place. I'll, I'll call it a C tier video. I know a lot of people like it, but it's, it's literally just Five Nights at Freddy's. The FNAF VHS tapes, I'm also going to put at C tier because I think they're the same quality. This was a bit rushed, a bit scatterbrained, so I'm not going to put it up here with the other ARGs. I could have talked more about the fandom as whole, other stuff they've done, it's whatever. Yeah, so they're both C tier to me. The Hypnagogic Archive. A lot of people don't like the Hypnagogic Archives videos. I do, personally. Because it's interesting to me to have an ARG that isn't just watching videos, you're also reading, stuff like that. That being said, I think I split this into two videos because I had to hit a deadline uh, for ads. And I wish it could be one video, but also it's dumb to make two videos into a compilation, you know? The Hypnagogic Archive is really cool, but I think my coverage of it has to be C tier, I think. Fordlandia. I, okay, I'm so happy the Fordlandia video took off like it did. People who had never heard of it before now talk about it. Uh, they treat it like it's common knowledge. It's a very wild story, a very interesting story. I'm happy it's as popular as it is. I'm putting it up here at A. Because these are like, these are my jam. McCandless, um, The Voyage of Terror, The Kamar Devon Pass. These historical mysteries I love so much. So even though there's not a lot of mystery to it, I might put it at B. But just because it gave the topic so much more coverage, stuff like that, I'd, I'd call it an A tier. The Tokyo Rose video did not do as well as the other historical ones, but I'm happy with covering a lesser known travesty in American history that not enough people talk about. To me, that's the same as like the Ford Landia video I'm putting it at A tier. This one, this video. Okay, Salad Fingers is a, is a series that's kind of immune to analysis because of the way it's built. And I tried to make it an analysis. And I don't, I really don't think I should have. I think the better way to cover the series is to just talk about it rather than trying to dissect, oh, this character did this and that. So I don't think it fit well into what I had to say about it. I think the section of me talking about childhood stories is way too long. It could have been like a third of the length and been fine, that segment of the video. I think it's too long winded. I think I'd go about the topic the wrong way. So, C tier, C tier. It's not, it's not so bad that I would call it D tier, but it's just, it's not up to par with like the Monument Mythos or the Mandela video. So yeah, I think it's worse than my Hypnagogic Archive videos, but I would call them all C tier, I think. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. The Conspiracy Theory Iceberg. A lot of y'all are saying S tier. If we are, if we are talking about 
impact on me personally. This series is the reason I'm Iceberg Boy. This is the se- this is the series that got Icebergs popular. This is the series. No, I mean, not Icebergs. Icebergs were already popular. This is the series that got me popular off of Icebergs. For personal reasons, it's like an S tier. But a lot of those topics in there, I could have covered so much better. I could have done more. Looking back on it, there were better ways to go about research. There are ways to make it less clunky. I'm glad the series did as well as it did, and I'm proud of it, but I don't think I could give it an S tier. So for me, it's an A tier video. The Conspiracy Theory Iceberg series is A tier. It is the Windigoon video. You're right. You're right. But it could have been better. So I got to give it an A tier. It doesn't stand up here with these to me. It's, it's, it doesn't stand up there with these. Now, the North Hollywood shootout, that's an S tier. That That's an S tier for me. I feel like that is an S tier because it is going over a story it is talking about all the angles i love looking into all these different reports i saw i i loved watching documentaries and then being like that's incorrect that's wrong information because they just didn't know what they were talking about that was great watching news cam footage comparing it to other stuff the only gripe i have with that video is that part of it got copyright claimed by a media company so i had to take out some of the footage i was describing but i i love it i think it's an s tier i i i re-watched that video uh, not because I like listening to my own voice or anything, but because I'm so happy with how it turned out, it makes me happy. So yeah, that's an S tier. And to the same note, the Waco video is also an S tier. Both of these are recounts of recent uh, American history that the, sort, the details of it get muddled and tossed around a lot. I got to do theorizing with the Waco video, stuff like that. Yeah, to me, these are two of my best videos, honestly. Looking at these top five right now, I would agree that these are like five of my best videos. Yeah. Actually, I didn't, I, I forgot to do this earlier, but for Mandela Catalog, I would consider all the parts of it. I was talking about all the parts earlier, but I'd consider all the parts of it to be B tier. Not the series, but just the way I cover it could be better. The Boys on the Tracks. I want to call it A tier, but because, right, I think rightfully so, I was so afraid of backlash from directly implicating political leaders <laughs> into, into a murder. It left a lot to be desired visually or whatnot, so I'm going to call it B tier. But just know that if I did use all the visual elements I wanted to, I would consider it A tier. But because of what it is, I'd, I'd call it B. Part 2 of Monument Mythos is also B tier. Yeah, all those. When I speak about one of them, I'm speaking about the whole series. Missing 411. Uh, it's a B tier video. I think it's a B plus. I talk about a lot of missing 411 cases, but it's kind of scrabble brained. I wanted that to be the introduction to the missing 411 series of which there's only been one video at this point, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the, doing that video with Aiden was really cool. I like bringing a lot of the missing 411 stories to light. I like missing 411, so I'll, I'll call it B. The McCamey Manor video. That's an A tier. I wouldn't give it S, but talking about all the conspiracies around the manor, all the weird stuff going on with the cases or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it's an A tier. I like it. This video, I would put up here in A tier because it, it's another one of those historical ones, but I'll put it in B, I think. Not as many theories to go off of, it wasn't that, I didn't have to do that much compiling of different sources. It's kind of just a narrative that's well documented. So I just basically am reading off the story as it's listed in several different, you know, journal articles or whatever. It didn't require that much effort on my end. So I'm going to call it B tier, but I, I'm happy with how that one turned out. Paradise Lost. To me, it's the Dante's Inferno video, but better. I think I did a better job explaining why the story is important, what its impact was, talking about the themes, the narrative, stuff like that. To me, to me, it's a better Dante's Inferno series. It's me improved off of what I was previously doing. Yeah, Paradise Lost is an S tier for me. It's where I want to be with the way I analyze old stories. I get emotional about it. And as we talked about earlier, it's a way to incorporate my faith into a greater work. So yeah, that, that's an S tier for me. Backroom, similar to Mandela Catalog and uh, Monument Mythos. I love the series. I love this. I love the series that the content's about, but my my video is just a description of things that are happening. Maybe some theory crafting, but my video doesn't add that much to the original work. So, B tier along with those. This one, the Vincent Van Gogh video. Not a lot of people on YouTube, or at least people who were like well documented, talked about the conspiracy around his death, which was known in the historical realm, but not that much online. Uh, for me, that's an A tier video. It goes up here with the other history mysteries. I got to get through the rest of this fast. 
so next up Frankenstein. Frankenstein is similar to Paradise Lost in that it's an analysis of an old story that doesn't get a lot of attention. That being said, there wasn't as much for me to personally ascribe to Frankenstein as there was stuff like Paradise Lost. And the, I also botched the upload because I tried to make it a premiere because YouTube says premieres help new people see videos and that's a lie. It tanked viewership in the beginning so bad that I had to delete the video and re-upload it. Um, so I have bad memories <laughs> around that. But I'm very happy that uh, with how the analysis turned out, it introduced more people to the story. But because I couldn't make it perfect, it, I couldn't make it as well as I think I could have now. Uh, a tier. I think it's an A tier video. Yeah, I'll call it A tier. All right. All Quiet on the Western Front. I'm glad people like this video. I'm glad people found the movie because of it, but it is, it's just me explaining what's happening on screen. To me, it's the same level of quality as my ARG's reviews and that I'm not really creating or analyzing that much. It's mostly me just describing things you can go watch for yourself, right? So it's a B tier. I, I have to give it a B tier for that. The, <laughs> the time the CIA faked a vampire attack to take over the Philippines. For those that don't know, this is where the meme comes from. The audio of me going, <clears throat> and remember kids, the next time someone tells you the government wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, they would. That audio comes from uh, the CI, that video. So that's fun. But again, same as these other videos, taking a historical event and then turning it into like, oh, well, here's the theories around it. Here's how it could be changed. I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out, A tier. That book also, I've read parts of that book. There's a lot of content in there. No longer human, B tier. Anytime it's me going over a piece of media and it's mostly me describe like Paradise Lost is different because Paradise Lost is me talking about a book that people in the modern age really don't read and talking about why it's important, what it means. No Longer Human is mostly me just describing a modern work, right? So to me, it's not as important. Maybe A tier because I'm really happy with how, where I thought the connection lied between Junji Ito's work and um, Desai's work. I'll leave it at A tier. I, I do like that video. I'm happy with how it is. Ghost Lights of Appalachia. This video is such a big deal to me because it was a personal story that I had heard of in the region and then I go in person to do it. And the, a lot of those stories I talk about in that video, I found people in person. I wish I could have recorded my conversation with them, but they didn't want to be recorded and I respect that. But it's not S tier because I could have done better. It could have been more than just me talking about stories. But as far as going into the field and finding stories that had never been written down anywhere and then recording them historically, that means a lot to me. I, I'm going to call it an A tier, I think. And for me... Personally, it's an S tier, like in my heart, <laughs> as far as like doing something I always wanted to do, but it's really, it's not that great production wise. Missing Milk Carton Kids thing. That's an A tier because similar to these, it's a historical thing not a lot of people know about that I got to analyze. I'm calling it A tier. Lost Books of the Bible, B tier. I would put it at A, but there wasn't really a direction for why I was covering what I was covering. It was more all over the place. If I, again, if I had scripted it, I think I could have made it an A tier, but because it was just kind of me rambling on about stuff, I'm calling it B. F tier. That, that video was just because I'm at an abandoned nuclear power plant, so I want to walk around it. So it's literally just me walking around for a while. There's, there's no quality to it other than memes. So B tier, F tier, I mean. The Dennis Martin case is also an A tier. Would have been an S tier if we found the bush that he went missing behind. <laughs> But all the things I said about Ghost Lights of Appalachia, just paste that there. It was fun to do it with the, the Lore Lodge crew, but it's not an S tier video. But I would call it A tier. I like going out in the field and doing stuff like that. Skinnamarink. Uh, okay, it's just me analyzing media, which would put it at B tier. But I do think my analysis of it is more uh, valid <laughs> than a lot of my analysis of other media. I'll call it an A, because as far as like... Not, again, not necessarily the topic I'm covering, but as far as my coverage of a topic, it's one of my favorites. I think it's one of the best work I've done. So I'm gonna call it an A tier. The mystery of the bomb collar bank heist. I want, I want it to be an S tier video. I want it to be an S tier video. It's me talking about all the logistics of it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it's S tier. I, I like that video a lot. I love how that turned out. The Gloria Ramirez story. I would put that one at S tier because I love that I was able to talk about the story 
of like maybe it was this crazy reaction of chemicals and stuff because that hadn't been covered on youtube a lot and it kind of gave like new light to an old internet urban legend that being said i did not put the research in for that one that was through medical channels and different experiments that were done that i talked about in the video that wasn't my finding that's me talking about someone else's finding so i'll put it at a tier whereas stuff like the bomb collar bank heist was more so like my my idea of maybe this person did this this person did that or whatever so because i personally didn't have that much skin in the game i'll give it a paradise regained not as good of a video as paradise lost as a matter of fact, it was much more basic, just me talking about it. Not that cool. I would put it at B tier for that reason, but I did make, was able to make some stuff about the story of Jesus and Satan or whatever. I'll give it A tier. Why not? Okay, I would put the Hisashi Ouchie video, the, the most painful death ever. I would put that at S tier because I'm so happy that I got to talk about a story that doesn't get talked about a lot historically. That being said, 95% of the research I did for that video was the book I read about it. The book that was written, I forget the author's name, I mentioned him in the video and I credit the book and all that. The majority of the facts of that case come from that book, the, the, journalist, the journalist and reporter who got all that information on the ground when it happened. So because the research wasn't that in depth, it was kind of basic on my end, I feel like it needs to be an A tier. That being said, I am happy with how the story turned out. Well. At the same time, a lot of the other stuff I cover is books written by other people, you know, like Paradise Lost or whatnot. But these are all videos that I pieced together myself over time. Like the, the content of the video didn't really exist before I analyzed it in the way I did. But this one did. Okay, fine. S tier, whatever. Fine. If you say so. I do like it. Blood Meridian video. That's got to be a B tier. Uh, I love Blood Meridian. I wish I could have done it more justice. I felt pressured with using the green screen to get the video out. I could have added better visual effects. I could have added more stuff. It's just me talking for five hours. I'm glad you all enjoyed it, but that book video could have been more. So it's going with the other media analysis. Ritual of Death. I would put it at A tier because it's another historical note, but I don't really do that much analyzing or talking about it. I kind of just am reading off stuff. B tier. I see you all are mad. You're just gonna have to get used to it. This one's also B tier. Both of these videos were kind of short notice pieces that I'm not super happy with how they turned out. I could have done more in both cases. Horrors of Unit 731, B tier. All these videos feel the same to me of me just describing historical events that happened without giving the same je ne sais quoi, without giving the same spice to them that I gave like these videos. So yeah, it's a B, it's a B tier. They're B tiers for me. I see y'all get mad. Well, that's too bad. To me, this video is a better conspiracy theory iceberg video. Uh, not Sorry, not conspiracy. A better disturbing movie video. So I think I did better at the content. However, it's the same vibe. Less popular. It's a B tier. Video's a B tier for me. The Yuba County 5. It's the only video. I'm not saying this to make myself sound cool. I'm just saying this objectively. It's the only high profile video or coverage I've seen of the case that did not immediately pin the fifth man as a killer. And as a matter of fact, I think he was innocent. And it's one of my personal favorite jobs I've done of taking this wide interconnected story and then tying it down to what might be one narrative, a lot of theory crafting. Yeah, it's S tier, I think. I think I have to put it S tier. All right, we're down to two. I think the Faith video is the best media analysis video I've done as far as like modern games, ARGs, whatever. I think it's the best. That being said, it's not like Paradise Lost where I'm reviving some old tales, some new old story. It is just modern media, me talking about what's cool, what works. That being said, I did get to insert a lot of personal stuff into it. I'm real happy to see you all yelling S, but I think I have to put it at A tier. Yeah. I think it's an A tier. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but just based off what, I'm not adding that much by just talking about what you could find for yourself, right, in the game. And then finally, the last video, the Ted Kaczynski one. The Cryptid Iceberg isn't on here, uh, cause this was made before then, but if it was, I would put them at B tier. Cause again, it's just, it's just an iceberg. I like with how it's going, but it's not that deep. The Ted Kaczynski video. I loved that I was able to talk about the story, 
There were a few editing mistakes in there, whatever, which I can't edit because it's under copyright claim. So I can't take them out in post, which is great. But that, that aside, it is a video that I got to talk about the manifesto. I got to talk about my feelings around it. I got to talk about the case. I got to talk about why I think people like Ted Kaczynski, but why he isn't the anti-hero a lot of people crack him up to be. I am very proud of it. You know what? Because it was kind of a subversion. Because everyone expected me to be like, oh, Ted's a cool guy. But it was kind of a subversion of that and why it was a subversion of that, why I don't like him. I like the period at the end where I'm sitting by the pool just talking about how I feel about Kaczynski. But production-wise, it was kind of long-winded. It wasn't as concise as it could have been. I could have made some parts shorter. A lot of rambling, which I know some people like, but I, it, in all honesty, it could tighten up. So I'm calling it an A tier. Yeah. I'd say it's as good as the Faith video, as far as that goes. So with that, we have the end. We have the complete ranking of the Wendigoon catalog. So our S tiers are the Bible Theory Iceberg. I said I'd move the True Crime and Disturbing up. I'll move it up because putting two icebergs in my ultimate thing makes sense. And I think they both did pretty well. So I'll, I'll bump that up to S. All right. So my S, my S tier is the Bible Theory Iceberg, the True Crime Iceberg, the Akali Raft, MLK, the North Hollywood shootout, Waco, Paradise Lost, the pizza bombing, the most painful death ever, and the Yuba County Five. That's a good S tier. I think those are the best videos I've ever made. I'd say that's that's top 10. That's I, I would say those are the top 10 videos I've ever made. And then A tier looks good. B, I'm happy with how this turned out. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Looking at it, I think I agree with everything pictured. There you go. So that's that. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. And also check out Connor Curiosity's channel in the description and check out where he ranked all my videos, what he thought of them. So go check those out if you want. That is my full ranking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'm going to get over to the other thing I have to do now. But thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so, so much to everyone who donated. It really does mean the world. Check those things out in the description if you're interested. I believe that should do it for now. But I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.